Hello my friends, this is Alien Contact D. Linol Anderson here with you guys with a brand new YouTube bit shoot video. Well my friends, in today's video, we're going to be talking about this intergalactic war we're going through right now. I know the title says Pleiadian versus Reptilian War, which in a way it is, but it goes a lot deeper than that my friends. We got uh, species, uh, higher dimensional beings, aliens, whatever you want to call them of many different races, uh, from Lyran, uh, uh, Syrian, Reptilian, of course, Octurian, uh, and much more. And there's good, good ones and bad ones on both sides. That's right. So instead of saying, oh, it's Pleiadians the good ones versus Reptilians the bad ones, no, it's all these different beings, more so the light side versus the dark side, just like how we had in Star Wars, right? Star Wars, lots of truth about what's going on today. They tell you the truth in the movies, right? So we're going to be talking about this war that we're in, what's going on in the Earth right now, what we're going to see in the near future, and how our world is about to change drastically. The vibration and the frequency of the planet is changing as we speak. And it's not... It, it, the vibration is raising, but we have not only the light forces rising the vibration, but also the dark reptilian forces as well. What do I mean by that? Well, my friends, we're going to get right into that. But before we do, I'm just going to encourage you guys to hit that subscribe button. As I say, subscribe to survive. I am the alien contactee. I cover it all from reptilians, Pleiadians, uh, the Matrix, and occult knowledge, and much, much more, NWO, you name it. So be sure to subscribe, smash that like button, helps me so much with algorithms, and just a quick shout out to my sponsors, uh, Oweli, loving this product here, 10 shrooms, my friends, it's got lion's mane, reishi, shiitake, and cordy caps, and a bunch of other mushrooms, essential mushrooms, that are amazing, you know, it'll boost your immune system, it will uh, grow new brain cells, my friends, and also give you tons of energy, okay? Like loads of energy. I It says to take two, I took two, it was too much for me. I only take one now. Plus, it has spiritual benefits too, my friends. That's what I love about it. Best way to raise your vibration. Uh, we'll talk about it a little bit more in the video uh, a little bit later on, but definitely awesome product. Uh, very potent, uh, no GMOs, all organic. The link is in the description below. Check it out, my friends. Now let's just get right into it. So what it comes down to, is we are in an intergalactic war, okay? The truth of this reality, this realm we're in, okay? And if you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you'll know my take on this. This realm uh, has been designed by the dark forces to harvest our, us humans, low vibrational energy, okay? And it's been put in place by the reptilians and their, their AI, as long as other factions of negative Pleiadians, Lyrans, and Syrians, and Orions, okay? Uh, so that's what's been going on here, okay? That's what the truth of this realm is. But with that being said, obviously, the good Pleiadians, the good Lyrans, the good light forces, these higher dimensional beings who are 5D and beyond, they see what's going on here, they don't like it, and they have been intervening to put a stop to all this nonsense. And a lot of us are volunteers, we're starseeds. We came here to uh, try to put a stop to this horrible energy harvesting event. And you know, this goes way beyond this earth simulation too. This is an ancient war going back millions and millions of years, but it goes beyond that, that's just a human term, uh, between all these beings. And there's many different simulations where these wars are happening, okay? So that's pretty much what's going on here. That's the truth of this whole realm. We have wars that take place here on Earth uh, a lot more often than you think. It's one constant war, but we have big events happening once every hundred year. We call it hundred year wars, my friends, with many resets happening all over the, all the time, many cataclysms. And then once every, I don't know how many years it happens, but once every 600 to 1,000 years, we have the big event take place, and that's the Nibiru event, where Nibiru comes in and uh, resets the whole simulation, the Great Reset, right, my friends? And that's all part of the war, too. And uh, what it comes down to is I want to address something. Uh, there's been a lot of 
uh, people out there spreading around a theory and telling people, you know, that uh, the reptilians, the dark forces, are actually uh, raising the vibration of the planet. And we know there's a huge uh, energetic uh, change happening to our planet right now. There is. The vibration is definitely raising. So according to some of these people, they're saying uh, it's actually the dark forces who are doing it and that we actually shouldn't be raising our vibration. We should be lowering our vibration. Which to me, uh, I strongly disagree with that. And I'm going to get to that uh, very soon. But, you know, a lot of people, such as myself, you know, we say we need to raise the vibration. Well, these people claim that people like us and other tr spiritual people are deceivers and that uh, it's, it's the reptilians who want to raise the vibration. So we got to do the complete opposite. Well, my friends, uh, it's not a complete lie that uh, the reptilians are ra raising the vibration. It's not a complete lie. They are. Okay, they are. I'm saying it right now. The reptilians are raising the vibration. But so are the light forces, okay, my friends? The light forces, Pleiadians, Lyrans, they are raising the vibration of this planet to 5D and beyond. But the reptilians, the AI, the dark forces, they are raising a vibration, but not up to that point. See, they don't want hum humans going to 5D and beyond. They are raising it slightly, my friends, uh, through their technology, uh, they are using a variety of methods from 5G to HARP, uh, CERN. Uh, and, and I've told you guys before, CERN and all this technology is actually bringing this Nibiru event in. Nibiru is not what you think it is. It's actually the fourth dimension, a fourth dimensional body that's coming in that they are bringing in for the reptilian harvest and the reset. But uh, what it comes down to, my friends, is see these reptilians and dark forces they are actually fourth dimensional beings okay we actually are all fourth dimensional beings we're actually all in the fourth dimension right now but the way this simulation works is our consciousness is being projected into a third third dimensional uh hologram that's the way the technology works okay but these reptilians are operating in the lower fourth dimension which is actually slightly higher of a frequency and a vibration than this 3D realm, okay? That's why we cannot see reptilians, okay? They could be sitting right there in the room with you or other beings, we can't see them because they're vibrating at a higher level than us. And a lot of people think, oh, raising your vibration, that means it's all love and light and everything's good and it's good beings, but no, not necessarily. Uh, like I said, the lower fourth dimensional is filled with your demons and your reptilians. And just because it's a higher vibration than we're at now doesn't mean it's good. It's actually a very chaotic energy, my friends, a chaotic vibration. You know, these beings are the ones who allow all these horrible, evil, sick things to happen. They feed off that. We know all the suffering and all that. Okay? So what they are doing is they are raising the vibration slightly to the fourth dimension because we know they're bringing in the nibiru object you could say where they're bringing in the fourth dimension so to do this they got to raise the vibration of the earth slightly okay and that's why in the coming years uh we're going to be seeing lots of paranormal stuff uh you know the return of the anunnaki people are going to start seeing reptilians all over the place and demonic entities and all that that's because we're merging into that lower fourth dimensional realm okay but at this very same time as this is happening the light forces uh they're blasting from the sun they're blasting high vibrational energies, and we're talking 5D and beyond, activating all of us star seeds and light workers, and that's why we got the Great Awakening going on worldwide, okay? See, with the reptilians, with what they're beaming at us with their technology, uh, they want us raising the vibration slightly so we're matched on their realm so they could start coming in and pretty much terrorizing us with the fear and all that. But also these frequencies they're beaming at us are very, uh, very, uh, cause a lot of problems for us humans because they want us at a low vibration still. So even though our vibration is raising slightly, 
it's also very low vibrational. Our minds, the egos, right? It's going crazy wild. We're having crazy thoughts. All that stuff is still to keep us at a low vibration so that we don't ascend. They're trying to stop the ascension process. They don't want us going to 5D and beyond because if we do, then their matrix is over. Game over for them. The light wins. That's right. The light forces win if that happens and they know it's happening and they're terrified because their matrix is falling apart. If enough people awaken, their world literally dies and they literally die. Okay? That's what's happening. So they need to keep us at a low vibration, but at the same time raise our vibration slightly. But with this, that technology they have, it's also making it so we go crazy at the same time to harvest our low vibrational fear. That's why I say these people are saying we need to lower our vibration. Uh, my friends, you want to lower your vibration? You think that's the way we escape the matrix is by lowering your vibration? Well, then you better go out. And just so you know, I'm not saying this literally. I'm saying this in a, in a sarcastic way. But if you, okay, you, you think lowering the vibration is the answer? You better go out, buy some alcohol. Uh, get some hard narcotics. You better watch violent movies. Yeah, violent movies. You better be in fear. Watch mainstream TV. Be in lots of fear. Have hate in your heart. Let that hate come into your heart, okay? Hatred, violence, uh, be in lust. That's how you lower your vibration. That's how ridiculous that is. Oh, we need to, if anything, we need to lower our vibration. That's the way out. That is how you lower your vibration. That's what the evil powers that be want. They want to harvest our low vibrational energy. That is low vibrational. Fear, hate, all that stuff is low vibrational, which, yes, exists in the lower fourth dimensional realm. Just because they're raising the vibration doesn't mean they're raising it to 5D and beyond. They're just raising it slightly, but still a very chaotic energy, my friends. And, you know, these people, they, they don't understand uh, how the vibrations work and they so they say okay so how do you lower your vibration to them what they think that means is like i saw a lady in her video say you got to go into silence you got to go in i go into my room and i just go into complete silence and i just sit there for a day in complete silence well guess what you're doing when you do that which i do agree we should all do that well going into complete silence being in the now moment being present that doesn't lower your vibration sure Putting your mind into the theta brainwave can lower your brain's frequency a bit lower. But when you do that, you're raising your vibration. That's one of the best things you can do to raise your vibration is to meditate and be in the silence, my friends. It's a fact. That's one of the best things you can do. Uh, Eckhart Tolle talks about in his book, The Power of Now. It says the number one thing you do to raise your vibration is to be in the present now moment and be in the silence. Okay, that's how you raise your vibration. Like I said, being in theta lowers your brain's frequency temporarily while you're in that state, but it raises your spiritual energy vibration and your aura to a whole nother level because you see our brains... And the ego is what keeps us at a low vibration from thinking all the time, being negative, this and that, okay? That's what lowers our vibration is that constant voice going on in our head. And that's why the ego was designed, this alien implant, to keep us at a low vibration because it's always negative. So to raise your vibration, you have to stop the ego mind, be present in the now moment, yeah? And sit in silence. Yeah, that's a great way to raise your vibration. So these people who say this, they don't even understand what vibration is, it appears. Because if you're saying lower your vibration, that would be to live an unhealthy lifestyle, eat crap food, eat all the poisons, go and get a Big Mac McDonald's, you know. But no, if you want to raise the vibration, you eat healthy, you eat clean. That's how you do it. So no, I don't encourage any, like if you want to lower your vibration, go right ahead, but that's not the way you leave the matrix. That's how you ensure you stay in the matrix, okay? If you want to raise your vibration, what does it mean to raise your vibration? It means to be in the silence, to be in the now moment, to be present, to be calm, to be healthy. Clear out your vessel, that's raising your vibration. 
and love. Love is the answer. That's what all these ancient religions and everything, all these ancient texts all speak about love because they got to tell you the truth and how to leave. You got to open your heart chakra. Love is the highest vibration. Okay, that's our way out. What we need to do is raise our vibration so high that we could override what they're doing with yeah a slightly higher uh, vibrational frequency, but still a harmful one that sends us crazy. We got to overcome the ego mind. Okay, we got to overcome that and not allow our minds to control us and keep us stuck at that low vibration. And we need to open the heart chakra, be in love, and love, uh, raise our vibration so high. We need to raise it so high in the love frequency that we go to 5D and beyond. So that way, you know, they're bringing in this Nibiru event. They're merging us with the lower fourth dimension. But if our vibration could uh, get past that chaotic energy that they're beaming at us and be raised so high into the higher dimensions through love then we will go on a new timeline and enter in a new reality that could be 5D and beyond. And that's what the light forces are doing. That's why they're sending in these solar flares, which is actually these high vibrational energy bursts that are coming and trying to raise it so we could escape and leave this 3D matrix, 4D, you know? Meanwhile, in the midst of this war, it's a, it's a frequency war. Reptilians are beaming their lower vibrational 4D uh, energies at us with their technology. They're beaming their high, higher ones. It all comes down to us, which reality we're going to choose. Are we going to stay in that chaotic 4D uh, energy or are we going to raise our vibration up to 5D and beyond? That's what it comes down to. That's what's happening and that's how this war works. And the people who can't raise it, they're ultimately going to be destroyed in the 3D, uh, 4D, and they're going to be recycled when the end of the world happens with the Nibiru event, and they're gonna be recycled and put into the new 3D simulation. And this has happened many times before, that's the truth of reality, it keeps happening, a new simulation is gonna be born, a new Earth, a 3D Earth, and it's just gonna start all over again, back from Genesis, right? Uh, back in the Stone Age, and they're gonna have to rebuild the earth, get it primed for harvest again, and it's just gonna keep happening. But those of us who figure this out and can raise our vibration to a certain level, we will be the ones who get to escape this hell realm. And we've won the game. And we gotta keep doing this until we can get the collective to shift to the 5D, and then eventually the whole collective will leave and this whole war will be over the reptilians the dark forces they lose that's what's happening my friends that's what's happening so no we don't lower our vibration we raise it as high as we can way past that chaotic 4d into the 5d 6d 7d 8d and the only way you could do that is through love it's from being in the silence Okay, people like to put these uh, these words, oh, raise the vibration, lower the vibration, 5D, 6D, forget all the words, okay? What you need to do to escape the matrix is to be at peace. You gotta be neutral, and you gotta be in love, and you gotta not be attached to this physical body, this physical mind, and you gotta be at peace and joy, okay? And not be sucked into the illusions of the mind and the ego. That's how you leave, okay? Call it whatever you want. You got to be in the present now moment and in the love vibration with an open heart chakra, open third eye. That's how you leave. Call it whatever you want. Okay? And one thing that will really help you, like I said, are these shrooms. I'm telling you, my friends, these things are powerful and they definitely do raise the vibration. And they're, they're not the psychedelic kind. Uh, they're not the psychedelic kind. They... Uh, Totally legal and everything. Like I said, lion's mane, reishi, cordy caps. But I'm going to tell you, so much energy. Uh, I, I only take one because if I take two, it's too much. And for me, I got an active kundalini. I'm sensitive to energy. It was psychedelic for me. Not as much as a magic one, but it was still, I felt it. Let's just tell you that. It was too much. I had to go to the gym and work out when I took two. So I only took take one. But all this, it, it heals the brain. And it literally, the energy it gives you, it's very high vibrational. So definitely check it out. The link is down below. Now I'm going to leave you guys with a couple good videos, okay, about raising the vibration. 
And so before I do that, I'm just going to encourage you guys, you know, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Join me on Patreon if you're a fan of my work. I'm on Patreon. I got the Ascent to 5D class where I'm going further on how we could do these things. Uh, occult class, health class, I got it all. Links are all down below for everything, my friends. I hope to see you guys uh, on Patreon and everything. And uh, yeah, I'm on Buy Me a Coffee too if you appreciate my efforts. Whatever works, my friends. And uh, like I said, subscribing means the world to me. Okay, thank you for watching. Share this video and check out these last two clips. Until next time, old Lionel signing off. Talk about raising vibrational frequency, it's done through love. Also, when you talk about following Christ, it's a metaphor for Christ consciousness. The Bible is allegories of the human body, Solomon's temple, and inside was the Holy Trinity, your pineal gland, the soul of man's temple, Moses parting the Red Sea. He split the right hemisphere and the left hemisphere of his mind so he could walk the path that God intended for him. You are the Holy Grail. Your head is the chalice and your neck is the handle. Your endocrine system, serotonin, melatonin, dopamine, falls to the sacrum and then it rises, the three wise men bringing gifts to Christ, giving you the gift of enlightenment, connecting you with the Christ within or the kundalini rising. It's the same thing. If you're following any forms of religion and you're externalizing your prayers to some big man in the sky, you're externalizing your power. This also allows you to send the blame to someone else exalting accountability for your mistakes. And it's also making you weak-minded. When you start to understand the syncretisms between religions, it's not that you are God. You're an extension of God. You're an extension of God's expression. And you can't raise your vibration and then go do things that vex your higher consciousness and think that your vibration is still rising. Raising your vibrational frequency can only happen through love. This is scientifically proven when you're in a state of fear, your DNA shuts down. Experiencing anxiety, depression, grief, these are all low frequencies that shut down your DNA. Why do you think the television leads with fear? It's for control. Your beliefs are being hijacked so they can dictate your actions. Law of awareness. No action will ever come from a non-belief. Who's giving your beliefs? Who's giving you your concepts? That's why having a loving relationship with Christ, it definitely helps. But that loving connection you're supposed to seek within yourself. Having communion with yourself, becoming your highest self, and vibrating that to your surroundings. Listen, the way religions being represented in today's society is meant to to cause division. More importantly, the system makes you very rational, so you interpret all these allegories as actual stories. Then you externalize your power and fight amongst each other, arguing about who's right, when the truth is you're all right. But you have to look at religion metaphorically. And if you're able to do that, then you'll realize they're all pretty much saying the same thing. All the while, the powers that created this system are laughing at you, fighting amongst each other, completely misunderstanding your religion, while they reap the benefits in this fictitious hierarchy that they created. We won't start seeing better days until unity. You need to master yourself so that others may not bend you. So that the matrix does not bend you. Stop externalizing your power and turn inward. It's that simple. You used to raise your vibration instantly. My vibration? What do you mean? Your vibration level determines your state of being. We are energy living in a vibrational reality. We are like radios. We can tune into these different vibrations to change and create our realities. Okay, what are the five ways? Number five. Simply say the words, thank you, multiple times throughout the day. Thank you for what? Nothing. When you say thank you, it sends signals to the brain that you have received something. This is how powerful our brains are. It thinks the thoughts and imaginations in our heads are actually happening right now. This is why people suffer from dwelling in the past and worrying about the future. So just have gratitude and say thank you throughout the day. Take a deep breath and say thank you. You can be thankful for anything. Number 4. Detach from the story of your life. Stop thinking about yourself so much. Your life won't fall apart. Focus on the present moment. Number three, meditate. When you practice meditation, you are able to become the observer of your thoughts, allowing you to have no reaction to them and not having the need to control them. 
because you aren't your thoughts and you cannot have full control over them. Well, at least not yet. The more you practice, the more you'll be able to direct them to think in a positive way. So stop reacting to them and let them be. Do not label them good or bad. Label them as just thoughts. Number two, inner body awareness. When you have some attention within the body, your thoughts slow down or they may not exist at all. This will help you stay grounded within the present moment. Involve everything you do in life with your body, not so much of the mind. For the rest of this video, watch this with your body. You can have inner body awareness 24 7 all day, and it's a feeling you don't need to think about the feeling, just feel it. And number one, stop caring about the things that make you feel bad and only care about what makes you feel good. So stop caring about those thoughts in your head that make you feel bad. Just acknowledge them and let go. Stop worrying because it doesn't make you feel good. You have to care about feeling good more than anything else. That's the key to get everything you want.